Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing well and staying safe. It's been a little while since I've put makeup on, probably about a week now, and the lighting is really good today, so I figured I would film. I didn't really know what I wanted to film, and then I was going through my phone, and I remembered I've had this picture of Georgia May Jagger saved for the longest time, so I figured I might as well film that. I think how I'm going to do this is I'm going to do one eye on camera and the other one off camera. That's why I have nothing on my skin right now, so first I'm going to prime my eyes. So I'm gonna first take some concealer, you can take concealer, foundation, eyeshadow, primer, whatever you have that works for you. I'm just gonna put this on my eyes. So I like to dot it on first and then I blend it out with my, um, with my sponge. And I like to put it like in this inner corner and a little bit under my eye too. So next I'm going to set that concealer with some powder. This is the Cody Airspawn Loose Powder and I have the shade Naturally Neutral. And then to remove any excess powder that's on my eyes, I take a small little powder brush. This is from BH Cosmetics, the Studio Pro Number 3 brush and I dip that into the powder and just wipe off any excess. It looks like the base applied like on the lid is like a blackish gray color. I'm going to take this Laura Mercier Caviar Eye Stick and it's in the shade Tuxedo. It's just the matte black shade. I'm going to like build this up on my eyelid. I'm also going to blend this shade out with a Morphe M433 brush. Looking back at the picture, her crease is pretty warm. I would say it has like some nice warm browns in there. So I wanted to use the Dozie and Katie Friendcation palette from Dosa Colors. I'm gonna take the shade Jeans and I'm gonna take that on a Morphe M573 brush. I'm gonna run this through my crease, blending like the edges where that cream shadow is. I'm gonna go back into the palette and I'm gonna mix between the shades Churro and Necessary and I'm gonna take those on a Morphe B79 brush and I'm gonna blend out the Jeans color. Next, I'm going to take the shade Game Over. It's this really nice black color and it has like some glitter in it. I'm gonna take that on my finger because with most of the shimmer shades in this palette, I find that's the best way to apply them. So I'm going to take it on my finger and I'm going to put it pretty much where the black cream shadow is. I'm also going to take some of that shade on a brush. This is from Cal, it's just an eyeshadow shading brush. This is where I want to leave the eyes for now. I'm definitely going to come back to them later and add like some more glitter and everything. So I'm going to pop off camera, clean up, 
around my eyes and then primed my skin and I'll be back to do my face. So I already primed my skin off camera. I used the Maybelline Master Prime in the Hydrate and Smooth. And for foundation, I'm gonna use the NYX Bear With Me Tinted Skin Veil. So I'm just going to add some concealer to my face. I'm going to use my Maybelline Fit Me Concealer in the shade 5 Ivory. I wanted to finish up the face makeup. Looking back at the picture, there's really not a ton going on with their face. Like, there is no bronzer or blush, and it doesn't really look like there's highlight either. There is a tiny bit of contour, at least I think there is, unless that's just your natural cheekbone. I'm gonna add just a little bit of contour. So, I'm gonna go in with the Anastasia Beverly Hills Contour Kit. So, I'm gonna take this middle shade right here, I believe it's called Fawn. And I'm going to take that on this little mini Real Techniques brush. It's the mini medium sculpting brush. And I'm going to put this contour in the hollow of my cheek. I'm not the best at contouring. I prefer bronzing. But if you kind of like suck in your cheekbone, you can see where the hollow of your cheek is. You can't really see her forehead either. But I think I might put a little bit like up on my forehead it looks like there's a little bit on her temple so contour my cheekbones and then put a little bit on my forehead Even though it doesn't look like she's wearing any highlighter in the picture, I want to put a little bit on, but I don't have like a ton, so I'm just going to use a liquid highlighter. This is the Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector Liquid in the shade Moonstone. So I wanted to add just a little bit more of the contour powder and I'm going to take it on a fluffy brush. This is the BH Cosmetics Studio Pro Number 2 brush. I'm just going to put this where I would normally bronze my face. In the picture, it doesn't really look like her eyebrows are filled in with anything. Now I need to pull my eyebrows in because the color of my brows are different from my hair. So I'm just going to brush them through with a spoolie. This is on an elf. Um, it doesn't say the name of the brush but it's just like an angled eyebrow brush. And then I'm just going to go over them with the Milk Kush Fiber Brow Gel.
So I'm gonna jump around a little bit here. Normally I would do mascara after my eyebrows, but I want to do the lips next. I'm gonna leave the rest of the eyes for last. I'm looking at the picture and it honestly looks like she doesn't have anything on her lips. If anything, it looks like she has like the tiniest little bit of like lip liner. I'm just like overlining her lips a little bit. She has those really nice big lips which she gets from her dad obviously so unless you have lip injections or your dad is Mick Jagger the rest of us have to use makeup to get those kind of lips. The first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna wipe off any foundation from my lips and I just use these makeup remover wipes And next, I'm actually going to put some lip balm on. My lips are pretty dry. This is from 7th Sense Botanical Therapy CBD Soothing Lip Therapy. And this is the cherry vanilla flavor. So I am going to overdraw my lips a little bit. Obviously, my lips aren't going to look as big as hers. Um, but I'm going to do my best. So her top lip definitely does look bigger than her bottom lip. And if there is any lip liner, it's mainly around the cupid spout and a little bit around the sides of the mouth. And this is the NYX lip pencil in the shade New Beige. It's one of my favorites. So I am going to put a tiny little bit of lipstick on. This is the NYX Lip Lingerie and this is the shade Baby Doll. So what I'm going to do to get it to look like as natural as possible is I'm going to just take some on my finger and just going to dab it on and since I already have the lip balm on, it's kind of going to sheer it out even more. I just put some mascara on. I used the Lancome Monster Big Mascara. And now I'm gonna finish off the eyes. I don't know if you can tell, but along like my lash line on my eyes, it's there's kind of like a gap there. And in the picture, I really can't tell if it's her mascara or if it's eyeliner. But I'm gonna just put some of this along my lash line just to kind of fill in that gap and to make it a little bit darker. And I'm also going to put this up in my waterline. Okay, so I'm going to add more glitter now. And I'm going to use this. It's from NYX. It's the Liquid Crystal Liner. And this is in the shade Crystal Gunmetal. I don't know if they make these anymore. They might have like changed the name of them or something. Um, but Urban Decay makes these. Um, I'm sure like a bunch of brands do. So I'm just gonna put this pretty much all over my eye. Like she is gonna go right up to her crease. So I'm basically just gonna do that. And the key with these is to keep your eye shut until it's dried. And I'm also just gonna like pat it out with my finger. So it really doesn't look like she has any false lashes on, just mascara, but 
I'm gonna put false lashes on anyway. I'm gonna use the Kiss number 11 lashes. Now all that's left is really just the lower lash line. So I'm gonna take the black eyeliner again. I don't think I ever said where this is from. It's the Ulta Beauty eyeliner. It's just a black little eye pencil. I got it in one of the Ulta advent calendars. So I'm just gonna run this in my waterline. And I'm gonna bring this a little along my lower lash line too. And now I'm just gonna take some regular black eyeshadow, any black eyeshadow will do. And I'm gonna take it on the shader brush that I used for the sparkly black shadow. And I'm gonna just blend out that pencil that I put under my eye. Now I'm gonna take the glitter again. It looks like it's mainly in the center of her eye and then a little bit like towards the inner corner so I'm gonna put it there I'm gonna use the Tarte Light Skin My Lashes Mascara for my lower lashes So that was the finished look. I love how this came out. I love the glitter everywhere. I think it's so fun. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. If there's any other looks you want to see me do or recreate, leave a comment below. Also, make sure you're subscribed and I'll see you all in my next video.